Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Monday the 9th of February 2015 and uh, this is a look at a, um, a question that came up on my uh, Facebook discussion page Voices of Reason to Explain X. Uh, one of our members posted a video uh, showing uh, an object in the stereo behind Core 2 imagery uh, of a strange object that comes into view and whizzes around the sun and then disappears and the question is what is it? Now this object uh, imagery actually goes back to February uh, 2007 so let's take a look at it and uh, see what it looks like to start with. So you can see down on the bottom right coming into view uh, there is a very distinct object coming in there and then it curves around and whizzes across in front or behind the sun and then dis disappears out to the right hand side uh, you can see the imagery is looped there. So this imagery is going from the 20th of February 2007 through until the 27th of uh, February. So let's have a look and see if we can identify what this possibly is. Now I've loaded up the NASA Eyes on the Solar System simulator and we've set our destination to stereo behind. I've set the date to February 20th, 2007, and we're locked on the sun. Now you'll notice that I've um, I've overlapped the two so that the sun's position is the same in, in both. Okay. Now already we can see that the moon is here, and uh, let's uh, play this and see what uh, trajectory the, the moon takes. So here we go, we can see already that the moon is following the the same trajectory as the object in the uh, in the core 2 imagery and it crosses the disk of the sun and then heads out to the right hand side just as we see in the other imagery so let's take a look at the um, imagery from core 2 again and uh, just compare the two and again there it is out to the right hand side so this is the moon, this was in the early days of um, Stereo A and Stereo B not long after they were launched and this is actually the Earth's moon. Um, the Stereo A and Stereo B spacecraft were both launched together at the same time on October 26, 2006. They were launched in the same payload and separated off soon after launch. Let's have a look in the NASA Eyes simulator at the launch date. I've got the set to October 25 of uh, 2006 and uh, we're going to see the Stereo A and Stereo B launch from the Earth. I'll head out in this direction uh, and I'm going to set this to one day per second. Here we go. So there's Stereo A and Stereo B. They made five loops out to the orbit of the Moon in a geocentric uh, orbit. So in other words they were orbiting the Earth with a highly elliptical orbit. They made five loops out to the orbit of the Moon. On the fifth orbit um, they used the Moon to provide a gravitational slingshot as they passed the Moon. So here is the third loop coming up to the fourth loop. Um, and then I will zoom out so we can follow the progress of Stereo B. So we're just completing the fourth loop here coming around for the fifth orbit. So here is orbit number five around the Earth out to the Moon and you'll see that Stereo B splits off and now I'll zoom out and I'm going to change the speed so we're going a little bit faster to one week per second and as we come around Stereo B coming up to February I'll stop it around about the 25th there we go I'm on the 27th there uh, looking at the date there. So you can see that Stereo B is out here, we've got the Moon out here, we've got the Earth here. So if I uh, zoom right out so we can see the position in relation to the Sun, you can see that the Sun is over here on Stereo B. So let's zoom back in so we can see that position again just to check it. So indeed we can see that from the field of view of Stereo B looking towards the Sun over here, then the Moon would have been in its field of view. 
As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X, Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.